got a little treat for you. I'm stopping at a little place called Masham in Yorkshire. I've uh, been here before actually and uh, the campsite's called uh, the Old Station campsite. I think so. <laughs> it's, it's on the site of an old railway station dis disused in the 60s or dismantled in the 60s. And um, the building behind you is uh, the reception. Uh, it's got a, quite a lot of history of the railway station in there. Uh, and it has a cafe as well. It's not open all the time, I don't think, but um, it's certainly open tomorrow for uh, me to have a breakfast. Um, the proprietor of the site, uh, or at least uh, one of the uh, management team of the site, uh, a lady called Val, is going to have a chat with us tomorrow about the site and the history of it and what they're doing, because there's a lot more here than just a little camping field. Now, it is a small camping field. Um, it's only a small site, but it's perfectly packaged. <laughs> I've been here before so I can't do the old well let's go and see because I know what it's going to look like but um, I'll do some filming of uh, Masham as well because it's a historic old uh, market town, small market town uh, and pretty wonderful for it. So yeah this is uh, this is the reception here and the site is just here. They have uh, caravan uh, pitches um, and, um, and then beyond that there's a little camping field. As I say, small but perfectly rounded. Let's go and get pitched before, well it's not going to rain tonight, but let's go and get pitched so I can go to the pub. They, oh, the other good thing here is that they have two breweries here, but I'll show you that later on. See you for now. So I've mentioned I've been here before, so I know the layout of the site, so it's not the big reveal, it's not anything surprising. Um, not much change in the couple of years I've been uh, absent, um, but that's the entrance there, the reception which you've seen earlier on, and I'll, we'll go into more detail of the site uh, tomorrow uh, when we have a chat with the uh, owner manager. The toilet block is just here, uh, ladies and gents. Uh, the toilets are uh, yeah, very clean, they're very sort of modern and uh, plenty of uh, cubicles, two or three showers, uh, but very nice anyway, it's, uh, it's a lovely site. And um, you have a sort of big area for motor caravans and caravans. Um, just behind. Uh, so this is all uh, laid out with electricity. There's lots going on in the old um, building over there. Um, they're going to be like little uh, rental cottages. Not finished yet, but we're going to chat about them tomorrow. And then you've got, I call them hobbit houses, but actually they're um, fire pits inside, barbecue and fire. So you have benches going around the outside and a big fire in the middle so you can do your cooking or you can do your, just keep your heat going. And then the benches, if, I'm, if I remember rightly, the benches um, fall down and you sleep on the benches, as it were. So Hobbit Houses, I'm sure they've got a better name than that. But um, yeah, there's what, four of them up there. I think the big thing for them will be the little uh, holiday cottages uh, when they're finished. So you've got plenty of areas of power here. And then you've got the camping field, which um, we'll just go and have a look at now. Not much else to show you, really, uh, from a personal point of view, because the, uh, the site is uh, one that I've uh, been before. It's virtually the same, and it's very nice, very quiet, and it's in a nice place uh, called Masham. And we'll have a look at Masham when I go to the, uh, to the pub. So I'll probably get to uh, to show you in the. Uh, I'm going to call them Hobbit houses. They're not, but I'm with a bit of luck, I'll get to uh, to show you in the Hobbit house. I've looked around before, um, and uh, maybe we can have a look in one or two other things they've got going on. Um, hopefully, everything will work out for a chat in the morning. But um, you never know. I mean, things change, and 
we'll just have to wait and see um, so really what you've got is the uh, the camping field sort of directly behind me now it's a small uh, small campsite small field for camping and um, I'm paying uh, 10 pound a night which is in May 2021 I'll put links on to the uh, to the website so you can have a look yourselves if you fancy coming here but it's a it's a lovely little site plenty of little bird life going on in the background and uh, when I was here last there was a lot of regulars that uh, would come to the site um, so I, I did uh, have some great chats with people that were stopping here um, but unfortunately with Covid uh, I've not been able to well I've just not got back here but here we are and uh, you know I'm going to enjoy the evening so going to have a look at the tent So I've got nicely set up with the uh, with the tent and the sun shining. Everything's dried out immediately. The tent uh, dried out almost as soon as I put it up, although it was uh, fly sheet was wet. Uh, the tarp, which is in the background, uh, that was soaked, but it's dry now. Uh, I'm not going to put the tarp up. There's no need to tonight. It's uh, if you get a shower, it's not going to be much. So yeah, I got nicely set up. Um, and although I don't think the uh, riders here, um, we've got another bike site and it actually looks a, a well-traveled bike this one so it would be great to have a chat with uh, whoever it is and uh, try and get some experiences from them another little some sort of hut there like a railway carriage yeah, it's, it's nice, nice field. And family friendly. But that's, uh, that's the end of it, so only a small site. But as I said earlier on, perfectly rounded. So it's a bit windy, so this might be a little bit awful soundtrack. But the campsite's back down there, and we're heading to Masham, which is over there, through the sheep, generally. There is a footpath on the road, but this is a public footpath that goes straight across. Hopefully it's not uh, too wet. Oh, did I tell you? I'm going for a beer and I'm so looking forward to it. Just one, maybe two. Right guys, so it's a 10 minutes walk. Um, yeah, 10 minute walk into the uh, town. Just uh, got to the town now, it's just up the road here. There, but I've just stopped here so you can have a look at the sign. And this is the really cool thing about Masham for those that like a beer. It's got two, it's only a small market town and it's got two breweries. Black Sheep Brewery and Thexton's Brewery. And they are two big brands in real ale. And both of them are produced here at Masham. So how about that? I might have to stop another night here so I can show you the breweries because I'm not gonna get time this evening to eat and uh, do a visit there but maybe maybe not we'll have to see see by the end of the video
Well, this is uh, Masham, um, and this is the Market Square, and it has a, a historic market here. And I can't remember how long it's been going, but it's uh, it's been going a long, long time. You get a lot of motorbikes coming here as well. It's one of the big stop-off points. Very quiet this evening, though. I mean, it's a Monday evening, so not surprised. Beautiful old church. Yeah, thriving old market town. You can imagine this when it was full of cattle and sheep and everything else that goes with markets of a long time ago. Yeah, there's the market cross, which would be the centre of the market. The, uh, I've just seen a plaque and the uh, charter for the market was granted by Henry III in 1231. So this has been a, and still is a market, twice a week. This has been on the go since 1231. A lot of the properties will be different to what happened then. But the market has been taking place here weekly, actually twice weekly. Since 1231. Time for the things. So, this is uh, the inside reception area, and uh, you can see plenty of information here on the old station at Massam. pictures, maps, yeah it's nice. And normally uh, when there isn't Covid you'd, you'd be able to get sat down in here but there's seating outside as well there, but the cafe is, uh, is up the stairs. Quite an extensive menu actually. Lovely old building and your reception's just here. All right guys so just a quick one, um, I mentioned about the cafe, and I've got uh, Folke here, who's the owner of the cafe. Yeah, he yeah. owned the cafe, yeah. And um, just have a little chat with Folke about his cafe. How long have you been here then, Folke? I have this year now, a bit over three years, okay. We suffered like everyone over yeah. the last 12 months. We was closed for seven months, of course, everyone struggles. It's been very difficult, But that, uh, yeah. since Monday, I'm ready to go. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy that the people found me quite quickly again. Yeah, so and the business has started to pick up again from I have to build. I have to build it You've up You've got to build again. it up again, yeah. And of course it was a, a tough time for everyone. And now we're going and I'm happy that many of my old regular customers did not for, have forgotten yeah. us. And that makes me quite happy. So on the weekend I could see, I could feel how many people would like to go out and uh, coming for me here again, yeah? Well, I think that's the truth. People want to do this, don't they? They want to get out, they want to start getting back to normality. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's tough for you as a business owner to get that sort of ramped up again. But put, put that aside, yeah, yeah. You, you seem to do quite a varied menu here as well. And I tell you what, I, of course, I'm, I'm a foreman, I'm originally from Germany yeah. and uh, lived 10 years in Spain, so I cooked in Spain under Italian kitchen professor. So uh, what I'm trying to do, I'm bringing a bit internationality on my plate and you can see it even in my menu, it's not a problem. Oh, you can see, yeah, yeah, yeah I, can. I only had a coffee this morning because yeah, yeah. that's all I wanted. So, yeah, yeah. But uh, you can see in the menu yeah, that... But uh, if you... In, yeah, yeah, so the, the international menu that you do um, yeah. looks really good and, I, and I'd really like to try it, but I can't yeah. today, so yeah, yeah. I'll I, come back. I, I tell you what, uh, it is actually not real set things what I'm cooking. I'm cooking, okay, call it, I, from my gut feeling out, I, I do what I would like to eat, yeah. I present that on my, on my plate. So you're improvising and yeah. doing things that you like? Yeah, and I do good. things that I like with all the experience that I collected yeah. over all the years. And you've had a lot and of experience by the sound I, I, of it. Yeah, yes. yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. Since, since I'm 16, I do nothing else. It that's is, it, that's your life then? It is yeah, four, yeah. 40 years by now. Yeah. And to, I, I would say I can't cook. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we can establish that. <laughs> but the other thing is they, they um, do breakfast here as well, don't you? Bob? Yeah, it's really and well known around the area. Yeah. And especially uh, on the days where our campers going yeah. home, uh, nobody likes to pack and to cook. So on, on, exactly. on the day <laughs> where the, our campers leaving, yeah. we're getting quite overrun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's a lovely cafe. I mean, I, I'll just spin around in a second and show you. But Volker, thank you very much for that. Yeah. And if you come to this campsite, you must come and try Volker's yeah. menu because. Unfortunately, you weren't open yesterday, were you? Uh, no, on Monday, no, on Monday, when I arrived. Uh, otherwise, I'd have eaten here. Yeah. But the next time I come, I'll give it a try. Okay, absolutely. And then we'll, absolutely, we'll review it again, shall we, yeah. after the... Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Volker. Thanks very much. Lovely. And see you soon. Cheers now. Soon. Bye Thanks now. a lot. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so a lovely site and a lovely cafe. Really nicely laid out. It's a bit difficult to see, actually, isn't it? But uh, yeah, it's lovely. Okay, guys, so we're at uh, Old Station uh, Camp... Caravan and Campsite. Right, it's Old Station Caravan and Campsite, and it's at Masham in... Uh, Masham. North... I'll put you right on Oh, Masham. oh, there we go. I'll just put you right. Masham. S straight off. Yeah. Masham. Masham. Oh, my yeah. God, I've been referring yeah, right yeah. through the video as Masham. Yeah. In fact, all my life I've referred to it as <laughs> Masham. So it's Masham. Yes, Masham. Right, yes. that's me corrected. Yes. I do get corrected a lot with yeah. uh, the owners of campsites yeah. with different things. Yeah. So Anyway, so we're on uh, we're at Masham, yes. and it's a beautiful old market town with a lot of history. Yes. Um, but we're not here for the uh, for, for Massam, we're here for the campsite. Right. Now Val here is one of the owners of the campsite and uh, I think does uh, yes. a lot of the work. Uh, yeah, yeah we, we've just been chasing a, a very friendly <laughs> dog haven't we? Yes. <laughs> taking it back home. Yeah, yeah taking it back home, there's a farm just nearby yeah. and the yeah. uh, lovely, old, not an old dog actually, a lovely young dog comes through to say hello. Yeah. Yes. But, uh, yeah. And spare sausages if there's anything. Oh there. yeah, 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 but don't feed him if he comes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway Val, just um, can you tell me just a it's an interesting yeah, site yeah. because it's the site of an old it's railway based station. Based on an old railway that was built in 1875 um, and they had a passenger line and a goods line. The passenger line sadly closed in 1936 and the goods line in 1965. But also there was also a narrow gauge line which went up further up into the Dales to a World War One army camp, oh, yeah, training yeah, camp, yeah. and the Leeds Pals were based there and they came here ah. and walked up to the camp from here. Oh right, that's yeah. very, that's quite interesting then, yeah. isn't it, from a historic yeah, point of view. Yeah, and then they yeah. sadly went to the Somme and yeah, not many of them came no, back. No, we know what, we yes. know what happened. Yes. Um, the, there's quite a, in, in the reception building, which I've, I've videoed previously, yes. so I don't need to do it now, but in the reception building, there's lots of old pictures yeah. of the site yeah, we as have, it was. Yeah, we have a little historic sort of display of the site how it was and how it's changed over the years from yeah. when we took it on and we'll have been open 17 years so of, as of this next weekend yeah. so it's 17 years yes. the so it's really the campsite itself has just been going the 17 yeah. years yes. which saying just it's quite yeah. a long time yeah, isn't it, it is. but, it's uh, disappeared quickly yeah yeah <laughs> time flies yes, doesn't it i yeah. mean i uh, was here um before covid and i think it was in 2019 yeah. I lose track of time yeah. and um, I had a really nice stop that was my yeah. first time here um, and at that time you, you showed me around yeah. uh, one of the uh, barbecue cabins barbe yes. I, I they, were new, they were new about five years ago when glamping ah. started to take take hold yeah. they, we bought them and put them on because we wanted to diversify and sort of use some area of yeah. land that was not any use for anything that's else that's right because that would that be part of the uh, line it was that yeah. the line went up across there yeah. and the new builds which you can see behind yeah. which are some holiday cottages that we're in the process of putting together now yep yeah. uh, that was they were actually coal bunkers from the railway oh so right the right, train yeah, so went across the top and then dropped into the coal bunkers yeah so we we're now changing them obviously that's right better use and small holiday cottages so they're, so they're going to just be little holiday cottages self-contained self holiday cottage, cottages yeah. which will be open all year but it is ba obviously you've had to yeah. do uh, a lot of work yes. on that i know from yes. the last time i was yes, here yes it's and actually it, been an ongoing project yeah. for more than three years <laughs> yeah and i think it's uh it's, covid didn't help uh, a lot uh, of things. yeah it's, it was, it's been a difficult one yes. but it's looking like it's uh, well on now yes yes hopefully we will, should have two of them open by the end of june and then the other two we're just going to work on after that yeah. but you'll be you'll yeah. be having paying guests yes, in there this yes, year yes yeah. definitely because they look really nice yes. and that's that is the old building isn't it yes. although yeah, obviously the, the, rebuilt the, 
the framework of it is the old coal yeah. bunkers and then yeah. we've just built the bricks up and all the bricks on it are all recycled off the site yeah we just recycled them oh excellent them from the yeah, coal bunkers. yeah and i keep calling your uh, uh barbecue huts yeah. hobbit houses yes i don't very know very similar I, very yeah. similar it's just like that's yeah oh look who we've got back and i'm i'm just going to pan round because what's it what's the dog called bill. He's bill. bill you might see him in the distance there he's snuck back in again We'll uh, we'll have to get uh, we'll have to get on with this little chat yeah. because <laughs> yes. Bill will have to go home again. Um, the uh, barbecue huts, yeah. uh, basically, we're not we're not looking one, no. but basically, uh, you'll you'll have uh, information on the yes. website, yes, won't you? Yes, there's information on the website, but basically, they've got benches around the outside that you sit on, and then also they extend to make a single bunk, and you can sleep four or six depending on the size. Yeah. And then in the middle, there's a barbecue, a charcoal barbecue, and it's, it's really yeah. quite a decent size. Yeah nice thing isn't it yeah, yeah it's like a big size. yeah and they're lovely once you've got in there cozy bit a couple of beers some music yeah. on and a barbecue going you could be anywhere in the world so a bit warmer than my tent yes, <laughs> actually it wasn't too bad last no. night because it was a nice evening yeah uh, so that makes all the difference Absolutely. um but uh, you, it's a fairly small camp field isn't yes. it um I, I, yes. I don't know how many tents you get uh, on there 15 but maximum 15 yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and you do take advanced bookings here, don't we you? We do, yes. Yeah. yeah, all advanced bookings, really, yeah. ideally, apart from during the week. Certainly yeah. weekends, it must be advanced bookings. I, th I think it's fair to say that, because I, I travel around and randomly go to campsites, yeah. but I think with this one, because it's only like yeah. 15 tents yeah. on that yeah. field, you would be advised to, uh, to book this one. Absolutely. Uh, which isn't something I normally do, but yeah. I think with this one, you're definitely yeah. advised. Yeah, certainly um, for the weekends. Yeah. Through the week, yeah. it's not too bad. Yeah, I think that's the same everywhere, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. Even when when things are a bit yeah. busier now because of covid yes uh through the week it's not too bad no. but a weekend you'd yeah. have to book that in a weekend wouldn't Definitely, you so yes. yeah yeah but it's a nice little corner and yeah. very friendly little atmosphere goes yeah. on with the people because uh, the last time and this time with people that are camping in that area yeah. it's like a little self-contained area is, isn't it, it? Is, yeah. It's, yeah it's quite cozy yeah it's area. nice and your caravans obviously and your yeah. motorhomes you take yes. and uh yeah. Um, and I think really from your big thing is getting these um, holiday cottages yes, up and running. So, yeah. But it's a really nice site and yeah. uh, the, uh, the the buildings are interesting because yes. you've still got we uh, plenty retained, of buildings. We've returned as many of the railway buildings yeah. as possible to keep the history and the structure so people can see how it was. Yeah. And you can see that with the way that the yeah. uh, development is being done for the holiday cottages. Yes. It's very sympathetic, isn't yes. it? I mean, you, yeah. presumably you, you've got to keep it reasonably yes. sympathetic part for planning, planning and things. Is, yeah. It's part to keep yeah. all things sympathetic yeah, yeah, and matching yeah. and your reception area has got that uh, history information yes, in yes and you've also there's a cafe there's isn't a there cafe upstairs, upstairs yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah we've got cafe upstairs. i'll just spin around again you can see oh you can't actually no, we'll, just, we'll, we'll just move and see yeah so um that's the reception building yeah. as we were discussing yes. and uh, his, the history that bits in the that bottom. That was actually, yeah, that was actually the goods shed so the train was it? literally oh, pulled Oh, through, literally goes in. Pulled yeah. through there and then wow. on the road from there. Oh my yeah, goodness, so yeah. it was actually called the goods shed so the train oh, the goods pulled shed, yeah. into that. Yeah. yeah, and the cafe's upstairs isn't yes, it? You can see right. with the big window that's right. there's a and table there in the window. Anybody yeah, that yeah, able yeah. To get yeah, it and, looks, and looks anybody nice. with dogs can yeah. sit downstairs. And I've just had, I've had a coffee this morning, and it's uh, it's nice. It's a quite extensive menu, actually. Yes. yes. But um, the, and presumably the old house there is the uh, yes, station the master. Yes, the house is the station master's house, and then the bungalow behind uh, was the ticket office and waiting rooms. Ah, right, right. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll yeah. just look at that on my way out. Val. Yeah. We've got uh, yep. the dog to go and sort yeah, out. So. <laughs> <It's pet> <laughs> again, I can see. Thank you very much no, for that. I really you. appreciate yeah, it. Thank and you for uh, again. yeah, no, I know. I love the site. Yeah. I love uh, yeah. Massam. Massam. I yes. love Mass. I Massam. love Massam. Yes. <laughs> and yes. if I call it's it Mash Mashem, it, it is. It Mashem. is. Yeah. yeah. In, in the early days, it did have double S, so it was Massam. Oh right. Well, you but, see, yeah. why did they change it? Because then I would have called it Massam. Absolutely. Yeah. It's all to do with the history and. Uh, the monks that were oh, in Massa right. many oh, gonna, years ago. Yeah, yeah. Look at this yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is a book um, that's dedicated to the history of Massa and uh, Days of Ewer, and it tells you about the history and how it all evolved to be called Massa and then was changed to Masham, as you say. <laughs> Listen, guys, yeah. Val, thank you thank very you. much for that. You must come here for two reasons it's a lovely little site. 
and, and as usual, family's friends. Yeah. Families are really nice. Yes. Family that runs it's nice. You. And, and there's two breweries in Massam, Black oh. Sheep and Thiexton. Oh, listen, I'm ahead of you there. Yeah. I've already told yeah. them this. <laughs> yeah. But they, yeah. Uh, worth a visit. Oh, they are definitely. I actually haven't been yeah. because the last time I was here, I didn't have time, and and I came. I came last night quite late. So anyway, Val, dog duties. Yes, <laughs> dog collecting duties. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yes, okay, Val. Yeah, thanks a lot. Then. We'll see you again. Yeah. Bye, -bye. Bye now. Bye. So that's uh, Val, one of the owners of the site. <laughs> and uh, um, the dog comes from the farm next door. Um, but they have put uh, fencing, extra fencing up, but it's still getting through. <laughs> He's a big lad and he's only two year old but he's so friendly. It's just that obviously other people have their dogs here and it's uh, it's just one of those, isn't it? You know, so not he's not really a nuisance, but then people feed him and then he becomes a nuisance. So don't feed the dog. <laughs> anyway guys, lovely sight and uh, lovely uh, place. And don't forget, never call it Masham, call it Massam. <laughs> Cheers guys.